My beloved, don't ignore God's message, because God has something special for you that He wants to convey. If you wish to receive it, please listen to this message carefully and type Amen at the end. My beloved child, I see the burdens you carry. I know the worries that weigh heavy on your hearts. The cares of this world often feel overwhelming. Do they not? You lie awake at night, your mind racing with anxiety over things that seem utterly beyond your control. Will I find a good job to provide for my family? Will my children make good choices and stay on the right path? Will my marriage survive these struggles we're facing? Will my health hold up through this challenging season? How can I possibly overcome this addiction or break free from patterns of sin that keep dragging me down? The questions plague you day and night. The what-ifs constantly creep in, spinning your thoughts into a frenzy of fear and doubt. You've tried so hard to grab the reins and steer your life in the right direction through sheer willpower and determination. You've pushed, pulled, agonized, and fought with every fiber of your being. But still, circumstances beyond your control spin wildly around you, leaving you feeling hopelessly powerless. The harder you grip, the more everything seems to slip through your fingers like fine grains of sand. My child, hear me now. Let go. Surrender your white-knuckled grip on the controls of your life. Stop striving and struggling with such anguish. For I have a profound truth to reveal to you. You were never meant to be in control in the first place. When you try to direct the course of your life by your own feeble human strength, you are taking on a burden you were never designed to bear. You are like a marionette puppet, contorting itself into knots, straining against the strings, seeking to move of its own accord. But true freedom comes in recognizing the loving hands of the master puppeteer guiding your steps. My ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. I am the author of life, the weaver of every circumstance and experience. I alone have the power to open doors that no one can shut, and to close doors that no one can open. When you loosen your grip and release the reins fully to me, that is when you start to experience the profound peace, joy and freedom that transcends your human understanding. Look at the birds of the air and the lilies of the field. They do not toil or spin or stockpile in barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds and clothes them in splendor greater than even Solomon in all his majesty. You are infinitely more precious to me than all of them combined. Type Amen in the comments and don't forget to share this message with up to three people so that God can help you. Have you still so little faith that you doubt I will provide all you need? Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. My yoke is easy, and my burden is light. It is in complete surrender to my will that you discover the path of least resistance. For when you relinquish your own flimsy blueprints and agendas, you align yourself with my perfect, unstoppable divine plans for your life. I know every hair on your head. I have counted each tear you've ever shed. I numbered your days before one of them had even begun. I intimately understand every battle you face, every pain you carry. I see your scars and struggles more clearly than you see them yourself. My heart breaks with yours when you are hurting. So trust me, beloved one. Let your grip loosen and turn everything over to me. Inhale my peace that transcends understanding. Exhale your fears and release the reins completely. For I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the beginning and the end, the Alpha and Omega. When you let me be in control, nothing is impossible. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am with you always, even until the end of the age. So let my strength be perfected in your weakness. Trade your porous, leaky vessels for the untiring, overflowing river of my spirit. My grace is sufficient for you, so let your feeble human strivings melt away. And let me work my perfect will in and through you. My power is made perfect in your weakness and total dependence on me. I am the vine. You are the branches. Cut off from me, you can do nothing. But abiding in me, you will bear much fruit. Abundant life and freedom flow from resting in my sovereignty. 
not wrestling against it. Look at my servant, Paul. When he faced unimaginable adversity, beatings, shipwrecks, hunger, thirst, sleepless nights, he boasted all the more of his weaknesses, that my power could be made perfect in him. If you believe in the power and grace of God, type triple nine in the comments below. He threw off every hindering weight and trusted me fully to equip him for the uphill climb set before him. Is my arm too short for your need this day? Of course not. I am the same God of Moses parting the Red Sea. The same God raining manna in the wilderness and bringing water from a rock. Do I now lack the power to bring you through whatever you face? Remember, too, my servant David, that ruddy-faced shepherd boy who arrived at the battlefield trembling with fear, his brother mocking his small stature and dismissing his puny abilities. But I chose him to champion my fight, not because of his might or skill with the sword, but because of his humble, unwavering trust in me alone as his strength. With only a sling and a stone, he defeated the mighty Goliath and won the day, all for my glory. I am still in the business of bringing down giants and making a spectacle of human strength and prideful self-reliance. I still thrive on using the weakness of this world to shame the strong and bring the exalted low. My ways are upside down. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. For the foolishness of God is wiser than the greatest human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than the mightiest human strength. So if you feel small, overlooked, dismissed or disqualified by human standards. Be of good cheer. You are the prime candidate for me to showcase my strength and my glory in the staggering, mind-blowing ways. But you must let go of your own puny striving and posturing. Die to your self-reliance and lift empty hands to me in full dependence on my sufficiency, not yours. Look at my sacrifice on the cross. Could there be any greater demonstration of dying to self? I held nothing back but poured myself out completely, relinquishing everything, even to the point of death on a cross. Yet that total surrender and death of my human self was the very thing that released the greatest display of resurrection power the world has ever witnessed. Likewise, my child, the key to experiencing my resurrection power in your life is to die to your self-reliant flesh day by day and fully embrace my leadership and lordship. Stop hoarding control of your own life like a miser hoarding gold. And let me flood your life with my boundless riches. For in emptying yourself, you position yourself to be filled to overflowing with the unfathomable treasures of my spirit. Is anxiety, fear or doubt creeping in? Telling you to clench your fists and dig your heels in? Trying to go it alone? Take those thoughts captive immediately. Declare out loud my truth over every lie. My word does not return void, but accomplishes its very purpose. So prophesy life over yourself, over your circumstances. If you want God's grace always upon you, then please consider to support our ministry by clicking thanks button. Because this message took us a lot of efforts. Speak my promises and stand firm on their authority. For I watch over my word to perform it. Remember, I am the God of the impossible. I parted seas, stopped the sun, and even breathed life into dust. I resurrected the dead and put death itself to open shame. How much more can I resurrect your dreams, your promises, your freedoms and victories that feel so dead and buried? I am more than able to bring those withered visions back to vibrant, fruit-bearing life once you stop insisting on your own feeble methods and let me drive. Just as I delivered the Israelites from over 400 years of slavery in Egypt with awesome deeds of power, I can deliver you from any bondage you face, be it addiction, depression, sin, generational curses or anything else that has held you captive. But you must leave Egypt behind and take those first steps of faithful obedience into the wilderness with me. You may not see the whole way ahead, or understand the mysterious detours I lead you on, but with every forward step of surrendered trust in me as your guide, I will make a way where there seems no way. I promise. My child, if you let me lead, I will get you to your own personal promised land of milk and honey, fruitfulness, abundance, 
blessing upon blessing in ways that make your wildest dreams look pale in comparison. Just keep your eyes fixed on me, the author and perfecter of your faith journey. Amen. My child, click on the join button to join us as a cherished member of our community.